Hello, Irene Smith here. And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll realize that we are back in House Flipper 1. And the main reason is that I have several properties that I've flipped lately. Um, so I figured I'd show you through them, sell them, and we'd start something new on uh, Tuesday. I want to start a brand new build. But for right now, I just want to show you a couple of things that I've been working on. And the first one is the house with uninvited guests. And there is a story to that. My son, Matthew, um, was streaming on his Twitch channel the other day. And he was playing House Flipper. And he did a property that I thought looked like the house with uninvited guests. So just to prove it, I went and I bought that property and uh, started redoing it. So let's go there. Seems like forever, doesn't it? Especially when you're waiting. Now, as you can see, I have done quite a bit here. Um, well, let's walk around the outside first. Added plenty of flowers, added this hedge to provide some privacy for the backyard. We have here some Sun chairs, a couple umbrellas, <clears throat> the obligatory, obligatory pizza oven, table and chairs, swimming pool, some exercise equipment, and a clothesline. Yay, exciting, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm still clearing my throat all the time. I apologize. The one thing that I didn't do is I did not buy a where's furniture? We need a hammock. It's one of the things that's considered important for the well, let's go with ogre stripes. Why not? Okay. Yeah, let's put it there. Now, this, there's a gazebo out here with a table and a place to eat. And a place to eat. A table on which to eat. And I added this second building, which is a writer's studio. Definitely writer. Because once you get inside, you'll see, well, okay, a writer slash programmer. Because this picture here is uh, a photograph of the CD cases, jewel cases, for the games that I published years ago. And this, do you remember when computer screens actually had screensavers? Well, this was the screensaver that I programmed. We've got a bookcase full of books. Still doesn't consider it an office, even though it has all the things that it needs to have. Um, weren't there other pictures? Do I them in the bathroom? No. As I was saying, there is a half bath here, just in case, you know, so you don't have to run all the way to the house if you have a sudden call of nature. And... On the um, table here we have, well, this is my high school graduation picture. 
I will not tell you what year it was. And this, actually, let me get rid of this. Okay. Huh. I don't know why that is doing that. Hmm. Anyway. My high school graduation picture. And this is a picture of Matthew, who we, whom who you've seen on this or heard on this channel many times. This is when he was first born. It was taken within a couple of days of his birth at a time when he weighed around uh, less than three pounds. Let's say that. Okay, so this is the office. Oh, and yet there were other pictures. What the heck? There it is. There it is. That's the cover of my book. I showed you the cover of my games. Now this is the cover of my book. And it is available, actually, on, um, on Kindle. On Amazon. Okay, so this is the hammock. This is the gazebo. And for some reason, I seem to have trouble getting these turned around the right way. I can't tell where the door is going to be until I start putting it together. And you can't pick it up and move it once you put it together. We've got a bicycle rack over here, a couple bicycles. Got some plants here and there and everywhere. Um, the one thing I didn't do was, uh, this is going to be an American garden, obviously. I didn't put tons of decorative grass around. So we probably won't do too much in the way of the garden competition. Now let's go inside the house. As I said, this was the house with uninvited guests. And if you were playing the game, when you first buy the house, it has, guess what? Cockroaches, yes. Cockroaches, which I really don't like. And by the way, if they bother you, and you didn't already know this, if you go into the settings of the game, well, let me show you, actually. In settings, I don't remember, I think it was under gameplay. Yeah. Display broken glass instead of cockroaches. And that's what I've turned on, because it's not that they scare me. I just don't particularly like. I don't like the sound that they make. Honestly. Let's... I just want to go back. Thank you. Resume the game. Okay, so this is our kitchen. We've got a counter here. We've got a stove and sink and all the goodies that we need. Um... If we come here, and here is the bathroom. Not sure I, I'm entirely crazy about this wall finish. It looks more dirty than marbly, but that was my choice. And then over here is a bedroom. Um, oh, let's make a bed. Uh, this photograph here on the wall is something that actually exists. It's called the Fremont Troll, and it's under a bridge near Seattle, Washington. And the man with his hand up the troll's nose is my husband. As you can see, for once, I actually did put curtains up, although I don't know that I did that anywhere else. Uh, through this door is another bedroom. Oh, I put blinds on this one so that someone can't stand outside and peek in. Over here is a place to sit down when you come inside. This is the front door. Ah, and right here we have some pictures that are interesting. The one on the bottom here, this is Hedwig. Yes, the one for whom I've... I, put owls around. This is my son Matthew when he went to his senior prom. 
And this is my husband and me. Uh, it was taken in Ford's Theater. And when we did the tour of Ford's Theater, they had us sit where the President and First Lady sit now when they go to Ford's Theater, as opposed to the box <clears throat> that caused where all the problems happened. More than a problem. But you get the idea. So those are all real photos from my, that I took. These are just part of the game, as is that one. You've seen the outside already. So I think it's time. Yes, indeedy. I think it is time for us. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed or not when we went in. I replaced the wood here with with paving stone because I didn't really I just wanted to do something different I've been trying to do these with different things different paving stones different siding different you know different plants different decorations just to keep from getting totally bored and by the way um, one of the problems I don't know if I did it in this one. Yeah. One of the problems that they never did fix in House Flipper 1 is that if you put a ceiling light in a building that you made and it has a roof on it, you can't ever move that light again. Suppose if I took, took off the roof, I might be able to. But other than that, no. Okay, so let's... Enter the garden, submit for the competition. We're going to try an American garden. Wow, that's really kind of pathetic. I have every bit of equipment that they want. And I only got 12.5%. Oh well, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, let's sell the house. This always seems to take forever. Just the ones I thought. The Smoth family. Okay, so let us... Let's see, what did they offer us? Let's ask for another 2000 What the heck? I could just type a number here. I know, I've said that a whole bunch of times. They'll take it or they won't. They accept. Thank you. So now we are actually going to make nothing more. That's bizarre. They're offering 133 now. They charged me over $2,000 for the negotiation. And so that totally wipes out the $2,000 I asked for. Cute. Never noticed that before. I guess we'll take it. We're going back to the office. Notice how much I did. And I will show you if the other house had any plastering. The one thing that they never did fix also in, in House Flipper 1 was the fact that if you have a house that uh, you have to plaster the walls, even after you've done it and painted the walls over the plaster, if you look through the window, you'll see the plaster. Oops. I guess that's why we don't have to plaster the walls in House Flipper 1. A two, I mean. They still have not given us a release date for the Dining Out DLC. Really kind of looking forward to that. Okay, well, we're back at the house. My house. 
by the way, one of my favorite pictures. That little boy there peeking through the, almost looks like he's peeking through the window. Um, that's my son when he was about seven or eight. And these are my animals. Let's see if we can shear. Yes, that one anyway. Oh, just knock me over. What the heck? Shear. I suppose you're not really that interested, right? Milk. <laughs> Give it some food. Or not. here. I don't know if this is the one I already did or yeah. This is the one I didn't do yet. There we go. Hello? Did I do this one? I think I did. Yeah. But the one thing we need to do Gosh, that's funny. I check this every time I come in here playing the game, and most of the time it's clean. It's fine. What what really I find rather strange is the fact that when you check the animals, a lot of times it'll say they're thirsty or hungry. And when you go and check the uh, food situation, you'll discover that you know, they may be thirsty and hungry, but guess what? Every piece of food is filled, so there's absolutely no reason Now that's unusual. This water doesn't usually get used. This one definitely needs to be filled. There we go. Shall we go check the chickens and then we'll go to the next house on our list. Strangely enough, Merc has not been around today. Ah, my rooster. One, two, well... Two is better than none, I suppose. And there's stuff that needs to be cleaned there. I find this rather unattractive looking. Don't dare leave it open or they'll run out. Somewhere here. There it is, right under the chicken. Cute. Okay, we will fill this. We will fill this. And we will fill this. If it needs. Now everybody can eat to their heart's content. laptop is over here outside. After all, summer's here. And I turned off the rain, so I don't have to worry about it. The second property that I wanted to show you was this one. And I'm not going to make you sit through the whole loading process. I'll come back once we're there. The theme for today seems to be outbuildings, not outhouses. <clears throat> that was the barn. No, I mean outbuildings. In this case, I built a garage to go with this house. This is, as I said before, the modern house. And it's pretty much done and ready to go. I am sorry, but I am not even going to bother 
with the garden competition for this house. <clears throat> but other than that, the house is... Hello, hey, we're here. Mark, I was just going to call you two. Oh, good. Matthew's here too. Oh, that's yeah, good. I was just showing. We, we've, we've done, yeah. well, yeah, as a matter of fact, yes, <laughs> it is. Um, this is back in, can you guess? Uh, house Flipper 3. I wish. I'm kidding. This house is Flipper House one. Flipper 1. And yeah, this I property, can, can you? Yeah. This property is called the Modern House. Oh. And they've got a nice big living room. Good. TV. Like a TV. They've got a nice dining room. Ooh. With a fireplace. Fireplace? No. Okay, I'm sorry. It looked like it to us. Yeah, they I can see why. Fireplaces. And, and I, uh, I, I didn't get a good look. A kitchen. Nice ah. kitchen. Ooh. Ooh. Right? Ah. Ah, wait till you see. Ooh. Okay, so down this hallway, uh -huh. we have, well, there's a laundry room. Laundry room. And here's the fireplace. Oh, that's a health hazard. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Mark, what are you doing? And there's a door outside, so, you know, you okay, don't have to worry about big, getting stuck. Right, it's not that big a hazard. I'm wrong. Uh, there's the laundry, the dryer, washer and dryer and stuff. Yeah. Then... A little further down this hall, we've got a bedroom. Ooh. A nice bedroom. It's With purple. a picture. Do you know? Yeah? Yeah, you know. What do we know? I don't know what we know. What do we know? Um, my friend Irene took this photograph. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? She gave yeah. it to me. And she took it just so I would have a pretty picture to hang on the wall in my one of my houses. So... I think that is very nice of her. It is. Ooh, ooh, okay, what's so, that room? Well, this is the bathroom. Oh, okay. I thought it was the laundry room. Tub, toilet, sink, all that good stuff. Yep, all toilet the things paper. you need for a laundry room. Yeah. All the things you need for a laundry room. Then down okay. here we have uh, a room. A children's bedroom. Oh, a children's room. See the see the bunk beds? Yeah. And the dresser, a uh, uh, wardrobe, and the dinosaurs. How you doing? Is this a friend's you room? You know, yeah. I can't say that without saying it like he used to say it. How you doing? Well, some and then just some things are just that. Uh, yeah, guess. that is true. This last room here is it's not a, a room; it's a a sauna. A sauna. I don't have a funny one for that one. Yeah. No, oh, you don't have a funny yeah. one for that. Oh, come on! You've got a great imagination. Well, yeah, but sometimes it sometimes it gets sometimes it just needs a break. I'm afraid. Did I show you? Oh, I did not show no. you the master What's suite. This, this is this is a half bath. Ah, yes. I thought. Wow, that's a funny looking bath. That's a funny looking bedroom. But this is not. That's a funny looking bathroom. This is the master suite. Oh, okay. Bed. You can make the bed? Yeah, wow. on some of the beds you can. Wow. A, a desk. I a should chair? probably give them a laptop. Maybe. What do you think? You think I should? Go for it. Let's see if there is one. Okay, there is that laptop Go and with this. that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. They look so technological and broken. Okay. Old fashioned, maybe. No, there's nothing wrong with the disk drive. It's sticking out still. And it works. Oh, it's not disk drive. That's And then, it exactly. Mm. It's. I don't know. Maybe it's a. It's like a little screen on the bottom. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Mm. Okay, and then over here is the. Dresser. Wardrobe. Yeah. The bed, the bedside tables. I put. What's that other door? Ah. That is a private bathroom. Ah, good. That way you can do whatever you want They've and got... not worry about the guests snooping. Right. Looking for your medicine. Oh, yeah. That's bad. That's Remember, very kids, bad. don't look through the medicine cabinet. I'm serious. Okay. Now, uh, we might as well get so some. I'm, I'm going to be going now. I but think, before well, I go. 
Oh, so you don't want to see me sell the house? Huh? Okay, maybe I'll wait for that. I'll wait for that. Okay. I think I think it's time. I don't see anything missing. Oh gosh, I'm lost. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. <clears throat> Go outside. Yeah. You saw all the yard, and you saw the extra well, building. You saw the garage, I'm right? I'm sure I could see that if I, when I watch the video again. Oh, there's a the garage. There it is. Okay, so let's go. Let's I'm go. not even going to bother with the garden contest because... Why, you, 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 you only get well, like one dollar? I wouldn't get... I would get zero. Which do you think it's most like? Uh, English or American? Oh, American. Uh, that'll be zero. Wow, two... 25%. 25%. Holy mackerel. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. We did it as a joke and now it worked. Wow, we. Uh, uh, well, let's put it on auction. Yeah. Let's see who buys. Well, Jimmy, well, Jimmy it, Trader. Probably the Smoth is? family or, or the Johnson family. I think the Smoth family. Family Johnson is a. Uh... Boy. They bought the other one that I did for today. Wow. So we're going to end up making 132000 on this. Yeah, $132,000. Dollars. Is There's this... a dollar sign there. Yes. yes. We don't have to Shall pay... we just accept it? Yes. Wait. Negotiate. Why? I don't know. I just like negotiating. Uh, no, uh... go ahead. Go ahead. Just accept it. You want to just accept it? Yeah. We accepted it. Yeah. We made money. Look, we get to see the pictures. Yay! It's, it's really funny because I asked them, and, and the first one when I sold it, I asked for yeah. an additional $2,000, and I think somehow it ended up wiping out part of the profits. Wow. I mean, it was weird. Weird. Very. Um, so, I think I am leaving now. Yeah, we're going back to the... Now, of course, we have to get do our do what we always say. We have to say... If you like this video, please sure to leave a like. If you want to see more from this channel, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss any notifications. And Matthew, can you handle this last part? I think I can. If you think your friends would like it, share it with them. Very good. And what do we always say? People should have seen Monkey Man in theaters. <laughs> well, okay. It's, it's true. Uh, but what else do we always say? Oh, yeah. Chocolate, Chocolate for Merc. Merc. Okay, well, I'm going to go. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I need a cough drop. Bye. I, uh, I could use one, too. I need a cough drop. <laughs> I really need a cough drop now. Do -do 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 -do. Bye. Do -do -do -do. Oh, you did it again. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments, chocolate for Merc. Okay, that'll... This is the second one, and actually, this is it for today. But I have something exciting to tell you. On Tuesday, we will be in House Flipper 2, and we're starting a new property called the Writer's Retreat. So join me on Tuesday for that. And on Monday, I will be publishing my next Irene Works video, which will be on creating... Custom templates in LibreOffice. We've already done Microsoft Word. This time we're going to use the word processor in LibreOffice. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday.